Sri Lanka marching to their fifth match without a single win in the tally. In their fifth match they had to face hosting and most dangerous team in Group B, Team Pakistan. The match was set to play in in-face Alibad on October 25th. This is the fifth encounter between two nations in the World Cup and Sri Lanka not being able to win a single game so far. Previous game Sri Lanka was a nail-biter but at the end Sri Lanka had to sit in the losing side. National Stadium, Face Alibad has a capacity around 18,000. It is a test venue since 1978. The first ever one-day international in this venue was held in 1984 between Pakistan and New Zealand. In 1986 Pakistan was able to bowl out mighty West Indies for 53 runs in this venue in a test match. For this match, two officials, Mr. Ram Gupta and Mr. Steve Woodward, act as the umpires. This is the 17th game in the competition and 9th match for Group B. So far Pakistan unbeaten and leading the board with 16 points. West Indies and England both took 8 points, but due to the run rate advantage, West Indies at number 2. Sri Lanka yet to open their account. On the other hand, 8 matches held in Group A, and finally India able to come to number 1 spot, beating Australia in run rates. New Zealand on 3rd. So far no wins for Zimbabwe. On the 15th game of the competition, India finally able to stop Australia winning streak. 4 Indian batsmen were able to score 50s in their innings. Ujharuddin displayed a stunning all-round performance. Again, 17th match New Zealand beats Zimbabwe by 4 wickets with Jeff Crow's captain's knock of 88 not out. Patterson, facing Bok, goes to cut it. PSC got an edge to it, bounced quite a lot to poor Watson. No slip, but well fielded. Martin Crow. Facing. That is a sign of a really good player. If you can get down on one knee to a medium pacer in almost 44 overs, with six overs to go, and watch Patterson dive. Picked it up well from outside the, from right the middle of stump. Pakistan made just one change. 
They left out Salim Jafar and brought an all-rounder Manzo Erlahi to the squad. This is his first ever World Cup appearance and he came to the side after five months. One change again for Sri Lankan squad. Due to the poor performance of 39 runs in five overs they rested Ramesh and brought back 1983 World Cup star Ashantha Demel back in action. They now have three medium pacers and two spinners to compete against Pakistan. After winning the toss Pakistan decided to bat. Both openers Ramaz and Mansoor put up 64 runs for the first wicket. He played. A very characteristic shot uh, for the Mies. They take two, they go for the third, quite comfortably. Pick outside edge. 55 for one. That's a great shot. Brilliantly fielded by Mendes. They go through for only one. Down to deep square leg. Sweeps that, and that's a good looking shot. Down to John. There comes the return. They're home for two. Then Salim came to the pitch, and this happened. Salim Malik after mark, four runs. It's a nice shot. Gonna pick up two. Madhugale runs from his position, a deep cover. Nicely played. I'm gonna come back for the second. No ball. And uh, they take a run. Ravinder De Silva to the upcome, tucked away. Two runs. We hurry the second. shot. Fine shot. That's his 50. get hold of it but he's going to get four runs. That was excellent shot really. He gave himself room and placed it beautifully through the towel for four runs. And this is up in the air and he's going to go. Ravi Ratnaki under it and he's off it. My word, uh, fortune favors the brave. Fine shot. Malik. The crowd rising, in fact. Given the 
like Juan Mandula really hurrying up for the second and then make it. Juan Mandula with the second and then make it. Juan Mandula with the second and then make it. A hundred to Malik. This is his first ever one day international hundred, beating previous best of 88 against England in the previous game. Pakistan able to score another mammoth score of 297 for 7 in their 50 overs. Almost run a ball but no single 50 from any of the batsmen apart from Malik's heroic. With two success and two fours, Akram got 39. Idges hammered 30 off 18 with 5 fours and skipper Imran got 39 off 20 with 5 fours and a 6 and Pakistan scored 154 in their last 15 overs. At the end of the innings not much memories to cherish for Sri Lankan bowlers. Imran has stepped out due to his ankle injury. But before he departs, he took opener Brandon. First run for Sri Lanka, they're one for no wicket, Mahanama on one, it's also the end facing him around. The swim, there's a thing for a catch and he's out. Beautiful delivery. That ball moving away and he gets his 99th wicket. Both Mahinama and Ravi ran out leaving Sri Lanka 70 for 4. Then Arjuna and Duliap start building the innings. Cut away down to the third man boundary. It's going to be four on It's up in the air, there's an appeal for a catch, but it's off the ball. Start of the 24th over. Lana Tunge will get two. So these two have put on 35. It's a big hit, and it could be the first six of the match, possibly. It's fifth. Didn't read that at all. Again, two 50s for Duliap and Arjuna. Both put up 80 for the fifth wicket. It was Arjuna's third 50 in the tournament. He was in a fine nick. Duliap finally able to score a 50. This is his third World Cup 50. As per his records he has scored a 50 in each World Cup edition since 1979, which was his second appearance. So, even without Imran Sri Lanka not being able to put a slight thread to Pakistan total. They were able to score just 184 in their 50 overs for 8 wickets. Kadir took three wickets including the duo of Duliap and Arjuna. It's a 113 runs win to Pakistan. Malik was adjudicated as the man of the match for his century. Another four points give Pakistan a solid look in the points table. Sri Lanka has to meet England in their last encounter of the tour. Let's find out about that game in our next episode.